Good evening. Welcome again to our webinar, Eat Well, Live Well. My name is Julie Mahajer, and I'm so excited that you've taken the time tonight to be with us to hopefully learn at least something new. This is truly my passion, what I've studied the last 17 years, and what I love paying forward to help others on their health journey. I believe health is a, is a big spectrum, and my goal is to meet you where you are on your journey and help you learn at least one new tool that you can implement for yourself or in your household to help you be healthier and, as this says, create a better version of yourself. This is a picture of my family and really my why, why I do what I do. My husband, Terry, our children, Maria, Molly, and Marco, they're 15, 13, and 8. And we live a very busy lifestyle, as I'm sure many of you do. He's the athletic director at Arkansas State University. We've been married 18 years, and that has taken us through six different houses in four different cities and three different states. So I definitely know how challenging it can be to live a healthy lifestyle amidst a very full, busy schedule. But what I have to share with you tonight is what I've implemented and done now for 17 years and it's all simple things that you can do to make a huge impact on your health when i met terry and when we got married we had been married a year when i kind of started this journey and i was 25 and on antibiotics at least six times a year with chronic sinus infections and different allergies and health issues and today i'm now 42 and healthier than i was then um, it's amazing, and it's been an incredible journey to help my family be healthier, and I'm excited to share this information with you tonight. I believe there's four core areas of health, healthy eating, drinking water, sleep, and exercise, and I do think all four are very, very important. We're going to focus tonight on the healthy eating part of it, though. These are the choices that we face in America today. And I think too often, Americans are taking that road to the left. And I hope after what I share tonight that you'll choose that road less traveled to the right and experience the benefits of it. My passion is definitely for future generations. As a mom of three, that's one reason why, but it really goes beyond that. The statistics today for children are very sobering. Every child born after the year 2000, one in three will have cancer, one in two will have heart disease, and one in three will be diabetic. That article on the bottom right that states that cancer statistic crossed my desk when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, Maria. And I remember thinking, wow, we hope to be blessed with three or four children. And the thought of lining my own kids up and saying, which one's gonna have cancer and who will be the diabetic and which one's gonna have heart disease really stopped me in my tracks. Several of these headlines kind of poke fun at it, and they make it a light joke about Generation XL or Super Size America, but it is very sad, the statistics that kids are facing today, and I truly dream of the day that you open a magazine and it says, remember when one in three had cancer or one in two had heart disease or one in three were diabetic. That is why I do what I do. Dr. David Katz says, Children are harmed more by poor diet than exposure to alcohol, drugs, and tobacco combined. And he also says this may be the first generation of children to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. And that's the first time in world history. This statement is so true. It's why I'm glad you're on this line tonight, that true healthcare reform starts in your kitchen, not in Washington. We have choices to make every day. And the food we eat can either be the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. There is a whole new field of science that's actually discussing so many of these environmental factors. It's called epigenetics. And the headline on this magazine says why your DNA is not your destiny. You are absolutely predisposed to certain conditions. That is a fact. But what they're finding is that these epigenetics, it reveals how choices you make can change your genes and those of your kids. And it's with those environmental factors like diet, stress, and prenatal nutrition. Even Dr. William Sears says 70% of disease is preventable through good nutrition. I do like to kind of have an asterisk on this chart and just say my college roommate died when we were 31 of a massive stroke. And my neighbor died at age 38 from a sudden bout with cancer. And I do believe all of our days are numbered and 
God knows our time, but my goal is to live as healthy and vibrant a life as I can every day I'm on this earth and to do what I can to prevent those disease and statistics becoming a part of my family's future. It's a shift in thinking. And this Kathy comic strip, I think, is a good analogy. She says, burger then, burger now, fries then, fries now, cookie then, cookie now. She said, my body was my temple. Now it's my McMansion. And it's really funny, but it's also so true that we need to think of our bodies as temples again. So many Americans treat their cars truly with more respect. They would never put water in the gas tank but people are putting things that shouldn't go in their bodies in their bodies. And you can't expect to look like a million bucks if you're eating from the dollar menu. And I also believe there are too many people counting calories and not enough people counting chemicals. It's something that, you know, today I'm actually two sizes smaller than I was on a college dance team that competed nationally. Um, you know, than I was then. And it's amazing. It's not by counting calories. I don't deprive myself of anything, but I've changed my diet and it's absolutely changed my body composition and helped my immune system. And it's been awesome. So the premise of what I'm going to share with you tonight is about eating more real food. But the reality is packaged foods are around us. And from a convenience standpoint, we are going to buy and consume packaged foods as well. So how can you choose healthier ones? This program called Nutrition Detectives was designed by Dr. David Katz from Yale. And he and his wife put this together primarily for elementary school kids. But I like to teach it to children of all ages. And it's to help all of us become supermarket spies. How can you choose healthier packaged foods? Well, the first clue is not to be fooled by the letters on the front of the package, that that's all marketing and hype. The only truth is the ingredient list and that nutrition facts box on the back. The second clue is that the first ingredient is always the biggest. And with that being said, you would think, okay, if sugar is one of the top three ingredients, that's probably not going to be a healthy food for me to consume. But a lot of manufacturers today are listing sugar in nine different forms so that they can have it lower on the ingredient list. So you wanna take a look at the overall sugar grams to get a better picture of how much sugar is possibly hiding in a product. I have an example to share, and it's not gonna surprise you that sugar is high. High fructose corn syrup is the second ingredient, and his third clue is to avoid hydrogenated oil and high fructose corn syrup. In this example, I wanna teach you a little bit more about that sugar. Every product has a total grams of sugar, and you see on this one it's 74 grams up in the Nutrition Facts box. Well, four grams is equal to a teaspoon, and when I learned this conversion rate, it gave me a visual that helped me realize how much sugar was hiding in the food I was eating. So when you divide this orange soda by four, it ends up being 18 teaspoons of sugar. Now, again, a lot of people know that soda isn't great for you, but to know that you're consuming 18 teaspoons of sugar. And I was shocked because the yogurt I was eating every day had eight teaspoons of sugar in it, 32 grams. And that was identical actually to my Briar's plain vanilla ice cream. But the ice cream would have been better because it didn't have high fructose corn syrup and food dye in it. So it was an amazing revelation in a sense that I had where I was able to start looking at labels and seeing how much sugar was hiding in something. His third clue again, you know, about the hydrogenated oil and the high fructose corn syrup, he calls them suspicious characters because they really are not good for your body. Your body doesn't even recognize high fructose corn syrup. When you eat real sugar, your body releases a hormone that gives you a full feeling, but it doesn't recognize these chemicals and your body doesn't release that hormone. And the hydrogenated oil is something that it is a trans fat. And I love sharing this is a box of Healthy Choice Microwave Popcorn that on the front has a big yellow banner that says zero grams trans fat, but you can't trust it. Again, you have to check these ingredients. Hydrogenated oil is the second ingredient on this. And I love the little asterisk. It's kind of comical. It says adds a trivial amount of saturated and trans fat. Well, truly, any scientist who studied nutrition the entire European um, part of the world has banned 
hydrogenated oil because it's so harmful. So you do just want to watch for those suspicious characters and choose foods that don't have those ingredients in there. The fourth clue is to avoid foods with a long ingredient list. Clearly, ingredients that you can pronounce and you know what they are are better. And the last clue is that fiber is your friend. So there are a lot of, oh, made with whole grains, but it has zero grams of fiber that truly it's been processed so much. It's not. It's what he calls that whole grain imposter. These five clues have helped my family over the last 18 years, really, start weeding things out that our home is full of foods that are better choices. So when we're eating out, that's the moderation. And then this is what we strive for. This is what you should be eating. And it's the government's now their recommendation of this plate visual that half the plate is fruits and vegetables and then you have grains and protein. The one thing that I would encourage changing on here is the dairy. I really recommend you mentally change that to water and, and know that, that water is the most important thing you put in the body and it would be the best option for you. I want to talk about why. Why the government though now is recommending half your plate be fruits and vegetables. And there are many reasons why. First thing I like to share is this chart from the book, The China Study by Dr. T. Colin Campbell. And it's a study, the longest one done on the human population and nutrition. And in this chart, they're comparing 100 calories of broccoli to 100 calories of romaine lettuce, kale, and sirloin steak. And I love how this enlightened my family. If you look down the left, those are the different nutrient levels that were tested. And you look primarily at the first and third one, you would think that sirloin steak would by far be the highest source for protein and iron. But it isn't even half the protein that's in broccoli or kale. And in the calcium, it's not, I mean, I'm sorry, the iron, it's not even a tenth of the iron that's found in romaine lettuce. So it's pretty shocking to think what kind of historically we're taught traditionally to think that you need red meat for protein and iron calorie for calorie it doesn't even compare and then you do look at the calcium or a third of the way down the phytochemicals and antioxidants I mean, they're found in very high levels in your produce and very low or absolutely none at all in the sirloin steak and this just to me shows the power of produce it leads me to this little science slide for the night that I'll share. And that is where the term antioxidants gets its name. Everyday living causes what they call free radicals and oxidative stress. You can think of it as an exhaust for a car engine. Your body is like an engine burning and it's going to have this exhaust, which is like free radicals and oxidative stress is what they call it and it damages the cells. A healthy cell is round and complete. And a cell that's been attacked, and they know in science today that every cell in the body is attacked over 10,000 times a day by free radicals, and it damages the cells. Antioxidants, truly fruits and vegetables, build a shield around your cells to neutralize the oxidative stress. That's where it gets its name, antioxidants. Antioxidants protect at all different levels. Oxidative stress shows up in the body all different ways. It shows up in the brain as Alzheimer's or in the eyes as macular degeneration, or you see this picture here in the skin as wrinkles. Someone who smokes or has more sun damage ages faster. They have more oxidative stress. This apple shows how lemon juice dripped on one side protects and preserves. That's the antioxidants in the lemon that actually helps reduce that oxidation. So in the body, that's what's happening. And that's the power of fruits and vegetables because antioxidants are only found in fruits and vegetables. It's so powerful that now even the American Cancer Society, instead of the old marketing campaigns of early detection, they now have a poster of 30 beautiful fruits and vegetables and their message is reduce your risk. Time Magazine is even quoted saying the news isn't that fruits and vegetables are good for you, it's that they're so good for you, they could actually save your life. And this headline, Grant Yourself Immunity, is truly what I experienced the last 17 years because your diet is your best defense against disease. 
And this article is stating you need a variety of fruits and vegetables, all different kinds, all different colors. I tell children when I go into schools, you want a rainbow of colors every day, not from Skittles, but actual red strawberries and green broccoli and real colors. The fact is the government has spent billions trying to find a cure for heart disease and cancer and other diseases. Their conclusion is a very simple statement, but one that is very profound, and that's that disease is easier to prevent than it is to cure. The recommendation is half the plate visually, but it boils down to 9 to 13 servings of fresh, raw fruits and vegetables every day. So some people say, wait, what happened to five a day? Well, they know from medical research that we need to be eating more fruits and vegetables. And they also know, as this chart shows, that our produce today is not what it was years ago. The amount of iron that was in one cup of spinach back in 1954 would require 60 cups of spinach back in 2003 even to have the same level of iron. So that recommendation is a big one. I have a friend in Florida that says you'd have to be a stay-at-home vegetarian to actually accomplish eating 9 to 13 servings of fresh raw fruits and vegetables every day. And she's right. <laughs> it is challenging. The problem is almost no one does it. And a lot of people turn to vitamins. I want to share what I've studied about vitamin supplementation these last 17 years. This article from O Magazine, it's not the one that's about pizza, but if you follow the arrow down, it's called Vitamin Alert, and it was an article and a research study done by ConsumerLabs.com. It's a third-party group that pulled products off shelves to see if what they said were in them were truly in them, and this Vitamin Alert was just that. I mean, they found so many labels that lied versus just the handful of ones that delivered for being what they said they were. There was a prenatal that didn't have the folic acid that it stated it had in it. There were gummy vitamins for kids that had lead in them. This article also explained that there really isn't a regulatory agency. And I just want to encourage you to take it very seriously before you put something in your body. Ask for third-party research. Know what you're taking because truly, if something is a supplement, <clears throat> it's very risky in some ways what has gone into it or what, um, what you're consuming. And even medical research today is finding that theoretically what sounded great back in the 80s when multivitamins came out, research now is showing vitamins get an F in cancer prevention. This is a list of a few studies showing that none of these added isolated vitamins actually prevented cancer and in many of these cases you'll see vitamin e actually increased prostate cancer risk and selenium raised the risk of diabetes and vitamin c and e did not prevent heart disease in men and vitamin e increased stroke risk and so the risks far outweighed the benefits in fact there's a medical study that was done it was supposed to be a 10-year study that was stopped after eight years because the placebo group had less disease um, and, and less death than the group getting the isolated fragmented vitamins. The sad thing is that everything I'm sharing with you tonight was actually founded in this article back from 1994. And it's all about the search for the magic pill and it's talking about better than vitamins and the importance of phytochemicals. That's all the plant compounds you know, the, the power of the superheroes in your produce and the truth about antioxidants in this article saying we do not have a vitamin deficiency in America. We have a whole food deficiency. This is one of the reasons why it's the synergy of all the nutrients found in produce. This is a list of just about 400 ingredients in an apple. They know now there's over 10,000. There are actually over 25,000 known named phytonutrients in produce. It doesn't even compare to the short list of vitamins that can be made in a laboratory and put in a multivitamin. If an apple were to truly have a label, it would have to be a book 20 pages long, like this sheet here. So how do you encourage your family to eat better foods? First of all, shape young tastes. For those of you with kids at home, 
the younger the kids, the easier it is, but it's not impossible even for your spouses and big kids. But you can shape young taste, and that is definitely a blessing. You want to be persistent with new foods. There is the rule of 15, that sometimes you have to try something 15 times before you actually develop a taste for it. Easy access is key. You see these mason jar salads on the right. That is one of my favorite on-the-go lunches. If you've never made mason jar salads, maybe you've heard about it. I feel like it's a movement going around the country where friends get together with everyone brings their own greens and one salad topping and you end up with this smorgasbord of toppings that you can create these salads and leave and take them for the week and have five different salads um, or more to snack on throughout the week. You want to be strategic with timing. If you know you're most hungry, you know, right when you walk in from school or work, then that is the time that you want to have those fruits and vegetables already cut up and you're not grabbing for the bag of chips. I tease people all the time that the original fast food was carrots and apples. It's way faster to wash an apple than to go through a drive-thru. So you can keep a bag of raw almonds and things like that in your car and have it ready. You can puree and hide fruits and vegetables. Our family's favorite way to do this is in our breakfast smoothie every morning. You can put chia seeds and spinach and all kinds of things. The picture on the bottom right are some of my favorite ingredients to throw in. Almond milk and frozen blueberries. And you can puree and hide a lot of stuff in a smoothie or in red sauces and things like that as well. And lastly, you want to involve your kids. If you don't have children, I guarantee you probably have children in your life that you can impact. And as many children as you can, that's my mission. Let them go to the grocery store and pick out a fruit or vegetable they've never seen or tasted or tried and, and have something new. And they know that what they fix, so what they're able to help prepare in the kitchen they're most likely to eat, and research shows what they grow themselves they're most likely to eat. So I don't know how many gardeners we have on the line tonight, but I remember having a garden as a child. But as an adult, I never offered that to my family until about six years ago, we found the tower garden. And with as many times as we've moved and sometimes we were renting, it just was not feasible to do a conventional garden in the ground or even with pots. This tower garden enabled my family to start growing our own produce. And today I have three towers, one that is outside, like the one pictured here, one that's inside that I grow with grow lights, and then I have another one that I use to go demonstrate at schools and other places. And it's been so fun to grow our own food, and it's the easiest growing system you could possibly have. It actually waters itself. There is no soil, no weeds. And because it's this optimal growing condition, it's called aeroponics, where the base is full of water and it's on a pump and a timer and the roots grow down into the center of the tower, but the water comes up and drips the mineral solution over them. So they get optimal air, water, and nutrients. And you can harvest lettuce in four weeks. It's incredible. It uses 10% of the water and only 10% of the land. So it's very eco-friendly. If you have any questions, you can definitely talk to the person who invited you, but I love having my garden that my family can now grow our own kale to throw in smoothies or our own greens for our salads. Good nutrition and prevention really does begin with fruits and vegetables. That is the premise of my message for you this evening, and that's definitely what I want you to learn and know, but I'd be remiss to not share one of my favorite resources this has become a strategy to help my family be healthier. It's called Juice Plus. And it is literally these 30 different fruits, vegetables, and berries that are juiced. And then the water and sugar and salts removed at low temperatures. The enzymes all stay live and active. You end up with concentrated fruit and vegetable powder that's put into capsules or gummies. This is a mother's peace of mind <laughs> to know that my family has had all 30 of these foods every day before they even leave for school. The powerful protective nature that these provide is incredible. It's the largest selling whole food based product in the world. My husband and I started taking it over 17 years ago and we did not even know the value of it at the time. It is truly whole food. When we moved to Florida and there is no food tax in Florida, we did not pay tax on Juice Plus. 
the label says nutrition facts, like a food label. It does not say supplement facts. It is so clean, third-party certified. There are absolutely no pesticides, herbicides, yeast, mold, any contaminants. And the biggest reason I love to share it is the clinical research. Whether you're interested in Juice Plus or not, the, the research on it proves the power of produce more than any other research I've seen. It is the most researched nutritional product in the world. It's been studied at over 30 different universities and institutions. You see the list here, everything from BYU and the University of Florida, MD Anderson in the United States to King's College and universities in Austria and Germany and Australia, all over the world, all walks of life. This is what Juice Plus has been proven to do, to actually benefit your cardiovascular system decrease systemic inflammation. It's been proven to support quality of life in ovarian cancer survivors, reduce the insulin resistance in overweight boys, as well as decrease the adiposity, the, the abdominal fat mass around their waist, supports lung health in smokers. So even those with high levels of oxidative stress, it's supporting their health. Healthy skin and gums, for those who care more about how you look and maybe how you feel, Supports immune health is definitely what I experienced firsthand to go from being on antibiotics six times a year to maybe six times in the last 17 years is profound for my health. I have an autoimmune condition and I did not want to stimulate my immune system, but I needed to balance it out. And that's exactly what Juice Plus supported my body in doing. It's been proven to help protect DNA. That's something as a mom, there are days I want to go to a mountaintop and shout out to the world. There is not a drug on the market that is proven to repair or protect your DNA at the cellular level. But Juice Plus, which is really a testimony, if you ate all 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries in it every day, you'd have the same benefit, is proven to protect your DNA. Again, it's reducing oxidative stress, and not just in the average person or in smokers, but even in athletes who have higher levels, and we know it's absorbed by the body. The body of work, the research on Juice Plus is incredible. I want to share a couple studies that I think really exemplify the power of produce. This study was done at the University of Maryland. It was published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, which is the most prominent cardiovascular journal in the United States. And they were showing the benefit of Juice Plus after a high-fat meal. We know that most heart attacks occur after a high-fat meal. The blood vessels are going to constrict 50%, but still need the same amount of blood to flow through. In this study, there was a placebo group, a group eating 20 fruits and veggies that are in the orchard and garden, the red and green, and then a group consuming the 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries that are in the orchard, garden, and vineyard. They went and had 52 grams of fat, over 800 calories. It was two breakfast sandwiches and two hash browns. And then they tested the constriction of the brachial artery in the arm. And you see the light blue line that your arteries constricted in these participants between 40 and 50%. They went back, they started on capsules, 21 days later went back and had the same high fat meal. And you see the green bar on the bar graph, over a 50% improvement in the construction reduction. Day 28, just one more week of the added nutrition, went back, had the same high fat meal. And if you look on the far right, that little purple bar, less than 2% constriction, practically negated the effect of the high fat meal altogether. I was so excited about this study until my husband was so excited and said, so I can eat whatever I want and take my juice plus and I'll still be protected. And I said, no, but it's great to know that when we do splurge, that we are protected. And then this study was not a placebo control study. Ethically, the doctors at MD Anderson did not want ovarian cancer survivors to not be consuming enough fruits and vegetables. But in this study, there was a group of women who were eating 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day which we all know the challenge in that, compared to a group who were eating five servings, taking the Juice Plus and the complete shake mix. Ovarian cancer, unfortunately, is one of the highest recurring cancers. Recurrence is normally over 70% of, of some kind of cancer then. 
in this study, both groups were less than 30% recurrence, and the group taking Juice Plus was closer to 20. It was amazing. And they also showed truly that the five a day with Juice Plus was equivalent or better in some markers to the women having 10 a day. And the Juice Plus Complete contributed to better protein status and other markers. I want to share just a minute what that Complete Shake Mix is. Every scoop has over 15 different plants in it, everything from alfalfa sprouts and broccoli sprouts and things I know my family is not getting in their daily diet on a normal basis. Um, it's 13 grams of very quality plant protein. Every scoop also has eight grams of fiber. You do not see that in a meal replacement or shake option. And it's only $2 a scoop. I mean, I cannot buy a junky snack or meal for what I get in my shakes. And we do the vanilla in the morning with frozen fruit and spinach and chia seeds, and we throw it in the blender. And many days we're making a chocolate peanut butter one in the blender after school, or we're just shaking up the chocolate on the go in between baseball games or for lunch. It's been a lifesaver for my family. And then to wrap up some of this research, I want to share a really cool initiative. It's been going on for over a dozen years in over 10 different countries, and that's the Juice Plus Children's Health Study. We're with an adult on the product, capsules or gummies. The kids eat free. Any child between the ages of four through undergraduate college st students can actually get Juice Plus free for up to four years. And it's just a questionnaire-based program. You complete three questionnaires the first year and one questionnaire each additional year. The results have been profound for families. They're all eating more fruits and vegetables. Dr. Sears calls it metabolic programming. They have fewer doctor's visits, they're taking less medication, and 92% have experienced other positive benefits of some kind. And if all the research on Juice Plus doesn't speak to you, I want to just close on that with the Oprah study. The ConsumerLab.com group pulled Juice Plus and actually tested it for being what it said it was on the label. And it was one of just a handful that passed and the only whole food one that passed for being exactly what it said. The broccoli and kale and acerola cherries and papaya is pretty awesome. Thomas Edison said years ago, the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will interest his patients in the care of the human frame and diet and in the cause and prevention of disease. And Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And he was not talking about Dunkin' Donuts or chicken nuggets, but actual real food. Remember that it's all about taking baby steps. It's a journey. What I've shared with you tonight is my 17 years of making these changes and having a profound effect for my family. It started with the one simple change of adding Juice Plus and then embracing other simple changes along the way. We have a wonderful support program around this called One Simple Change, and every month we have a different theme. For August, it's hydration, where we have a goal built around one of these four core principles. And over the course of a year, then, you're making 12 healthy habits. We also have a community of people called the Healthy Living Rules, and we have different challenges to just kind of jumpstart. This is for people who want to embrace all four rules in all four areas at the same time and have a bigger, impactful difference. And I've definitely seen the benefit of this personally over the course of time when I jump in and do these challenges. They're such a great reset. I'm going to be starting another 10-day shred um, starting September 6th if anyone wants to join me. But let me share some results that other people have had in our Healthy Living Rules community. This is Dan and Julie. You see a positive natural side effect of changing your diet is weight loss. They've lost over 70 pounds, and they're off four different prescription medications. This is Casey. She also has lost over 130 pounds and is off her high blood pressure and cholesterol medication. This is Gerilyn, and I love what she says here. Again, she also experienced the positive benefit, natural side effect, of these healthy living roles and lost 53 pounds, but I love, she says here, I have control over my relationship with food for the first time in many years. 
I'm hooked for life. And that's what we're about. We're not about quick fixes and gimmicks. It's about lifestyle changes that will impact your family for future generations, including Elizabeth and Michael, who Michael struggled every day with his behavior and challenges he had in his life. And after following the healthy living rules and adding Juice Plus, making that one simple change at a time, every day is a good day, she says. It's been very profound for their family. Corrine had severe and chronic sinus headaches every week that would last up to several days. They dramatically decreased to less than once a month. And they're not nearly as painful. Larissa had severe acne issues. She now only has smoother, better skin, but she also, natural side effect, her acid reflux is no more. Um, she experienced healing from the inside out. And Chris and Anita share here about their challenges over three years of fertility issues. And now they have this beautiful family that is complete the way it was supposed to be because our bodies are designed to eat real food and to work the way God intended them. If you're interested in adding Juice Plus as a resource for your family and being a part of our either Healthy Living Rules or One Simple Change program, you can look at these three different packages here. There's the basic package where you can embrace starting on the Orchard Garden and Vineyard, either capsules or gummies, whichever you choose. It runs around $70 a month for that. It's $250 a day to get over 30 different pieces of produce, that nutrition in your diet every day. The standard package includes the shake mix which ships in 60 servings. You can get two bags of chocolate and two bags of vanilla or all four chocolate or all four vanilla. And um, you can still pay monthly for your orchard garden and vineyard capsules. And then the shakes, you can pay in full or split it up over two months. Or the premium package, which includes a complete on-the-go bar. There's a dark chocolate fig and then a cherry honey one. So those are some of the different options. My family definitely falls into the premium package. We use all of the Juice Plus tools. But we also just challenge ourselves every day to make really good decisions. And there is the moderation, but we track our progress. And we focus more on the good things, what we've accomplished that feeds our body in a healthy way. And we focus on doing more of those things every day and celebrating that, what we're doing to become healthier and stronger. Our mission is to inspire healthy living around the world, and it starts with one person at a time, one household at a time. I thank you for taking the time tonight to join us, and I hope that this is exactly what you were needing to get out of this, to move yourself forward. If you are new to Zoom webinars, there is a Q&A feature that you can find in your toolbar, and I am available to stay on and answer any questions. Please feel free if you want to visit with the person who invited you. You can um, definitely talk to that person, and I'm happy to help. But if you have any questions, I will stay on and answer those. I see someone asked here if they can take, if Juice Plus, I think, can take the place of their regular vitamin. Um, I personally do not take any other multivitamins. Um, you know, there is not vitamin D naturally found in fruits and vegetables, and some of the vitamin Bs are not naturally found in fruits and vegetables. So those are some things. Um, vitamin D has been found in a very rare and unique mushroom that is now in the Juice Plus Complete. So with the shakes and the addition of that mushroom in there, I don't worry about that as much. Um, there are some people who still wanna take a multivitamin. My father is one. <laughs> And he takes his juice plus and his multivitamin. So it can't hurt you because um, adding the juice plus is not more isolated fragmented vitamins. It's just whole food. So you can definitely add it to your regimen. Um, for me, it is my trusted regimen. So that's just my personal decision for that. If you do have a deficiency in a certain vitamin, vitamin therapy absolutely does have its place. Um, but as far as just trying to fill in the gaps, this can replace a regular vitamin for sure. 
As someone has asked if the products are gluten and or dairy free and yes, all of the products that Juice Plus Company provides as resources are gluten free and dairy free. As someone asked if they're organic, um, they are all organic standards. Um, that's something that I'm really proud and feel very safe for my family. Um, all the products are tested three times for any pesticides, herbicides, yeast, mold, bacteria, and they are completely free of any contaminants. They actually have the NSF certification, um, which is the most stringent certification that you can get. The NSF sport certification is what's required for like Olympic athletes and things, and Juice Plus passes all of those certifications too. And as someone asked here, where and how do they get Juice Plus? You can definitely talk to the person who invited you to this webinar this evening. I am happy to help um, you as well, connect you with anyone. The products ship directly from the Juice Plus company to your home or office, whatever address you prefer. They, for years, have shipped in a four-month supply for the capsules and gummies. Um, they do that for several reasons. One, you get to save on shipping, to have it not ship every month. Um, and then also, that's really what they recommend. Your blood cells regenerate every 120 days. So they really encourage you to try it for that four months. The beauty of it is they only bill you monthly. So they will send you four months, but just charge a credit card or debit card monthly. So that 7125 that was listed for all three of the Orchard Garden and Vineyard blends, uh, that's just something that I've had on my credit card um, as just a monthly charge. It's much easier to budget. And then the shake mix, I like to pay in full. It ships with 60 servings, and then I pay in full for that um, and just order more whenever I want more. But you can break that down into monthly payments too. Someone asked how these products can help with workout results. There are three published studies done on athletes with Juice Plus. Um, for those athletes on the line, may extend beyond the person asking the question too. You want a certain level of damage to your body when you're working out for that repair, for the growth. And it's measured by what they call protein carbonyls. The really cool part of some of the research done on Juice Plus with athletes is it showed a little bit of that damage, but not the collective damage. Like typically, it just keeps building and building and building, and it really wears it out over time. In the research on Juice Plus, if you look, and you can see all the research online, um, but the studies done on athletes, it's amazing. It showed a reduction in the oxidative stress. It helped their immune system. Um, and then this protein carbonyl damage that it limited helped with recovery, ultimately helps with performance. So absolutely, it's great for the weekend warrior or um, even the Olympic athlete. There are lots of Olympic athletes on Juice Plus too. Any other questions? No? Well, I will stay on. I know several of you have stayed on, and you're welcome to stay on and ask any questions. Um, otherwise, I know it's early for some across the country and late for others. Thank you so much for joining. and. Um, we will be sharing this education again in September. You can definitely find out from the person who invited you. Um, we also do have these recorded and are happy to share the recording too. Have a wonderful evening for those who are dropping off and I can stay on for anyone else.